today we're going to be looking at a program called Axel to speed up your downloads. Now, when you're downloading from a server such as this one here to your computer down here, now, even though you have a certain amount of bandwidth allowed by your internet service provider and the server has probably more bandwidth than you do, the server may say, oh, for each person downloading, we're only going to give them so much bandwidth to download this file. So when you connect to it, it's sending it at a certain speed. But with Axel does, you have two options. You can connect multiple connections to the same server, allowing you to split and get more bandwidth from the server. Now, although you can do this, it could be frowned upon because now you're eating up the bandwidth of that server by making multiple connections. And there still is, of course, a limit of your bandwidth that you're allowed through your internet service provider that's limiting uh, and you can't get past that without paying for more bandwidth. But if your bandwidth is this big and uh, the server's only giving you this much on downloading a file, you could do four connections and speed up your download. Another option would be is sometimes servers have mirrored servers. So even though you have that original server, you may have another server here and here that you can download from. And Axel allows you to do that too. You have the same file on multiple servers and you're able to split up and download portions of that file from each server uh, using Axel. So let's go ahead and get working and see how this works. Okay, so Axel should be in your repositories by default. It's spelled A-X-E-L. And so, for example, on a Debian-based Debian system, you can use aptitude or apt-get, and just aptitude install Axel, of course, either as root or sudo. I already have it installed. Once it's installed, the basic command is similar to that of wget or curl. In fact, we're gonna use wget as an example here first. So I'm gonna say wget, I'm gonna paste in a URL for an ISO of um, tiny core, their larger size one, their core plus, which is, uh, I think, um, 75 uh, megabytes. So I'm going to enter here. And this is definitely a site they must really throttle back users because even though the distro is real small, it tends to take a long time for it to download. And as you can see right here, we're getting four to 500 kilobytes. It's slowing down now. So around 400 kilobytes or kilobits a second. Um, and it's going to take approximately 2 minutes and 15 more seconds to download. I'm going to hit Control c to cancel that and I'm going to remove the file that we just started to download. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to use Axel uh, and I'm going to say dash n10. This says take make 10 connections to this server. That might be overkill. Um, Depends on the server, but 10 is the number I tend to throw out there. I'm going to paste in the same exact URL. So Axel is going to do, download just like wget did, only it's going to make 10 connections, basically pretending to be 10 different uh, computers downloading. So I'm going to do that. And as you can see already, we went from 400 kilobits a second, we're up at 16, 1700 kilobits a second. Definitely, just right off the bat, we're getting five, six times the speed. Uh, by doing that. Now that you do want to be careful though, um, as I said, I tend to use the number 10. I've tried 20 before uh, with different servers and some servers will see one IP making that many connections and block you for a while. Um, plus it's just kind of rude to do too many connections to a server at once, uh, especially something like Tiny Core. I'm assuming since they throttle back so much, it's probably uh, budget restraints. They probably only can afford so much bandwidth. It's an open source project, not the biggest project, probably doesn't have a lot of backing. So, you know, you might want to think about who you're downloading from. Is it worth, you know, uh, eating up their bandwidth? You know, if you're downloading something from Google um, that's large, just as an example, they can afford the bandwidth, they're just limiting everybody, you know, for efficiency use, but making extra connections is an option. Um, another option would be you could put multiple URLs to different um, uh, mirrors. So a lot of Linux distributions, you go to their website and they have all these different mirrors. Well, it's, if it's the same file, you just do, you know, I'll, I'll make something up here just as an example, something a little shorter here. I'll just call it linux.com forward slash core.iso 
and maybe they have another mirror that is like Linux net.core.iso and another one that maybe it's it's like um, dot UK or something like that so it's the same file on different servers in different places you could hit enter this is I just made this up so it's going to give me an error not found but it will actually make three different connections one to each of those servers to download so you're getting the benefit of multiple connections but you're not hogging down on each server so that is another option kind of like you know Maybe you can kind of look at it like torrenting, but from actual servers rather than other people downloading the file to where you're getting bits of the file from each. Now, also another thing, <clears throat> Axel automatically will start download, uh, uh, continuing where you left off. So if you were to control C like we did up here, and you were to run the same command to download the same file, it would um, continue right where it left off. You can do the same thing with wget if you do the dash c option. So it's just Axel does that by default. So that's a quick look at Axel. Um, I don't use it all the time, but uh, when I'm downloading larger files, like maybe like a four gig ISO, I might hit a few different mirrors using Axel and might make more than one connection to each of those mirrors, depending on, again, I'm limited on my internet speed, um, but definitely can increase. Also, if you do make a lot of connections, you might hog down your own network. So if there's other people on the network, you might bog down their connections. So it's to be considered to other people on your network. But if you're home, alone, downloading a large file, there you go. Axel will help. It's a great little program. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you continue watching them. Uh, consider going to my Patreon page. There should be a link in the description if you want to support. And also be a little more interactive with me. I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Day.